Just initial uh, initial thoughts first. Listen, I mean, we did put ourselves in a hole right away, and but listen, I mean, the amount of you know players we had out there, you know, it's in the first season, your know, first five games of the career, and you know they're working their backside off for us, and so. Um, Proud about where we went. I mean, at the end of the day, they scored on us when we, we were chasing the goal. So you're either going to equalise to be two two, or you're going to end up getting to get beat three one. And so I'm just incredibly proud of the kids for keeping working on keeping the pedal to the metal. In the first few games, it was your team getting outshot and then trying yeah. to get the draw. Now yeah. you outshoot them by ten, but they went three to one. Yeah. Hey, listen, fair play to them. They they put their chances away, and we didn't put our chances away. So that's a lesson for us. You know what I mean? And, you know, right now, just because of, you know, circumstance, you know what I mean? We're a younger team. And so it's, it's good lessons for them for the future, but we've got to learn quickly. Are there positives that you can take from today's game? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, again, you know, we've got kids that are they're fighters, you know what I mean? That was the, the one we, thing we instilled on day one here and, in terms of looking at that and the ability to fight and go after things. And I think if you look at the game again, you know, I think, you know, we missed a, a chance of 2-1 to so put it to 2-2. And I think if it goes 2-2, I think we go on and win the game. And they're lessons to learn for us, but we created chances. And now, you know, I think we have to post a couple of times. And so it's, uh, we've got to put those things away. What went wrong on the, first couple goals for Boise and the first one we got caught in transition I mean it just you know ball got stuck under our feet and we didn't release it you know we talked about if it was stuck in those areas just put it down the other end of the field and turn them um, second goal I'm trying to think in terms of what was, what was the second goal uh, all the shot from the top of the 18 yard box I think if we get pressure on someone, we can't release pressure. We've got to keep pressure on the top of the 18-yard box and force them back. The moment that they spin and get faced up on the top of the 18, and then we're asking Leah to take us out, which you know, you know, she shouldn't have to do all the time. So keeping pressure on the ball there and forcing them away from the ball. What have you seen from Jordan? She got a goal in last game. She got a goal in this game. How has she been impressing in limited action? Works incredibly hard, you know what I mean? And runs it in behind and is a threat in behind. He's got pace. It's got a little bit to her. I mean, she's nearly scored the second now when she's at the outside of the post and a little bit of composure about her. So, yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy for her because she's, uh, she's doing really well right now. You mentioned being fighters, and that's something you could take yeah. away from this. But last week, you mentioned not relying on being fighters. Too. Yeah. Uh, was this kind of the one that, that bit you in the behind finally, it, it, getting down by a couple goals and not being able to come back? For and sure. For sure. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, we're not, it's not like we're playing an easy schedule here. We're playing good teams. And so if you put yourself in the hole like that at some point, yeah, I mean, it's happened time, you know, I think it was uh, Santa Barbara last year. We went down 2-0 and we ended up rescuing it again at 2-0 and could have won it at 3-2. And same picture again today. So it's lessons for us, and but we got to take the lessons on the chin and, and move forward. Felt like there were a couple chances to get even one or two more out there. Yeah. How could that have happened today? Thing. Put the ball in the back of the net. I mean, it's as simple as that. I mean, it's you know we, we have to be more composed finishing wise, and when we get into those areas, and uh, you know, so we'll take a look at it on film, and then we'll we'll learn the lessons from it. Livy got shaken up in today's game. Do you, do you know if there's an update on it? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you probably. You know, our doctors are going to take a look at it. We'll you know do what we need to do, and then we'll we'll see we'll see where we're at there. It seems like after the 30th minute, the team kind of starts playing a lot tougher, a lot more gritty, a lot more pressure. Is yeah. there? any way that you think you could get that started earlier is that just how yeah we got to look at you know what personnel give us that you know what i mean so that'll be looking at the tape and, and seeing again if it is a personnel changes we can make to get us to get us that you kind of high intensity right away Kayla McCullough, she came in, she was very, pretty physical, yeah. she committed a few fouls, but she also got a few possessions back. What did yeah. you see from her in the Awesome, record? awesome, you know what I mean? And she, you know, she had a bit of a slow start to preseason, a couple of things going on, and so she's starting to hit her gear right now, hit her stride right now, and we threw in against Texas a little bit to see how it went there, and she did well in the few minutes she got against Texas, and so, you know, she showed again today that we've got trust in her to put her in and, and do a good job, and she just did a good, a good job for us. How do you as a coach have to get a little bit more creative with some injuries and some limitations for school. <laughs> you know, first halves are, first halves are difficult just because of the rotations in college in terms of you know once they're out they're out. And second half, you know, we look at you know we look at sub patterns before the game and we have predetermined sub patterns in terms of okay if this happens this happens this happens and it's rotating you know in terms of bodies. You know, but you got to give credit to the kids. We don't have many bodies to rotate through right now, you know, and um, and they're doing a heck of a job. There's some players playing positions that they're not used to, um, and so you know we had Jordan Snyder penciled in as players on outside back this year, and she had done so much development in regards to that. But we have to activate her up to up front right now because of just the situation we're in. So um, that's kind of how we do it, and you know, it's all credit to the staff that we're able to get through these games. What about the stamina piece of it? It's still early in the season. You didn't have a long preseason. Yeah. Are the women 
ready to be able to play 90 minutes of Astapon? Yes, some are. I mean, some of you know, we're in protocols for, for a little bit, and so that's affected some people as well. So, you know, it's um, we've got some people still getting back to it as well. How can this one be a learning experience moving forward? Well, there's game management pieces in there as well. You know, I think, you know, we probably, second half, you know, in those last 20, probably served too many straight balls. You know, you got to hit diagonal balls into those areas. Um, and again, it's taking our chances. I mean, we've created enough chances to win the game. Um, you know, and I think if you score the second one, then all of a sudden it's a completely different game. Boise State are the team on the back foot, and then, you know, we're the ones losing for the win at that point.